Hey there, it's me, Sapphire Moonbeam. I'm going to do a general reading for Scorpio for March 2021. And I'm going to start with a card from my own Moonbeam Magic Oracle deck. To find out more about my deck, please check the link in the description of the video. This is a general read, so not all of the messages will apply to you. Just take what resonates, leave behind what does not. And if you would ever like to get a private reading from me, please send me a message at sapphiremoonbeam.com. This card just came out for one of the other signs. Um, this is the Moonlight card. This is reminding you there is magic moonlight every night just outside your door. This card encourages you to pay attention to the magnificent moon and the lunar cycles and reflect on how that affects the life or the time period in your life that you're experiencing along with the moon cycle. Kind of more of a study of the moon. So now I'm going to pick some Lenormand cards for Scorpio. The first card that just jumped out was the house. The second card is the um, anchor, and then we get the coffin card. The house can be your safety, security, and sanctuary, all matters of your domestic life and your house. The anchor is a very hopeful card. It's a very grounded hope. It's being stable in, in spite of times when there may be some rough waters. The coffin card is the Egyptian, it has the Egyptian god Anubis there, um, ushering the dead to the next phase. Basically, this is a huge indication of a transition in your life, a big change coming. We're always in a state of change, really, nothing ever stays the same, but this is, this is something that's more noteworthy. This is going to be something that is definitely feeling like the end of one chapter and the beginning of a new one. So first I will be picking a card for the coffin. And we get the garden. And that rep represents for sure new life next to that coffin. There's something new that will be blossoming for you. I'm going to pick a card here for the anchor. And it's the lady card. The lady is either you or a lady in your life. This could be a work relationship. This could be a very stable partnership in, in your career. This could also be a, you know, a very stable romantic relationship as well. Let's get a card for the house. And we get the ship. Your ship is coming in. The interesting thing about this card is that this is a very stable ship. That ship's not going anywhere. Even though it's a new opportunity, it's not going to evade you. I like that, along with being very close to the anchor. Something that's meant for you is coming, and it's coming to stay. That is delightful. I'm going to pick another card for... All right. <laughs> so we get the bear... And the bear is talking about uh, being very, very strong and having the strength to make it through a situation. The bear is also about protection. You're very, very protected in this new opportunity. And then we get the tower. The tower can mean a few different things, but the tower for me um, can be about being at the very top of that tower and looking at a situation with a new perspective, a higher perspective, and seeing things more clearly. Um, I'm going to pick another card here. And we get the fox. The fox in this situation, I believe, means that you'll find a very clever solution to something. Um, not only are you strong enough for this opportunity that, that's going to stay, um, you're clever enough to um, make things continue to go your way. 
and there is the writer. There is a new message coming in. There is something that's very hopeful because there's a lot of sunlight in this card. It's a very good time period, it looks like, in March. Picking one card here for love. And it says, let, let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. So, you know, the writer's going to come when it comes. There's going to be this new message coming in. There is this transformation to something brand new. Um, I think it's very hopeful. I, I like the fact that things are going to blossom and bloom and be very steady. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I wish you peace. I wish you love. I wish you blessings. Be well.